What's good YouTube, Nath Mass Collector, uh, back with another PSA submission. Um, this one here is 10 cards. It's going for a regular service level, which is $50 a card. Um, I'm not sure exactly what the turnaround time is right now. I'm guessing it's gonna be probably two months before I see them back. That's, that's my guess. Um, last time I did a regular submission was back in uh, October. And it took uh, four weeks, I think, three or four weeks to get them back. So I'm guessing that's <clears throat> doubled by now just with all the submissions that are being put in there. Um, anyways, so this is going for regular submission level, service level. Um, got 10 cards, so here we go. Uh, first one is, so Christian Woods, rated rookie. Donruss. Um, I actually bought some boxes of 2015 Donruss last year um, tr searching for him because when he was with the Bucks, I thought, you know, man, this guy's got a lot of talent. So I actually bought some of these. Um, I actually pulled this one out of a pack blaster box that I bought on eBay. So it's super good condition. Um, if this thing doesn't come back at 10, there's something wrong with the system. It's perfect. Um, if this comes back at 10, it's easily a $1,500 card probably. Um, I know he rolled his ankle pretty good. He's probably out three weeks, four weeks. I'm not looking to sell this thing right away anyways. Um, Possibly, but I think he's going to be an all-star at some point and he's going to be an all-star every single year type of guy. So <clears throat> got that one. Um, I also have Christian Woods, the rookies Donruss 2015 card. Again, super, super nice condition. Um, centered really well. All the corners and edges are clean and crisp. Um, I was buying these last year probably around like May or June for, you know, 10 bucks or less a card at that time. I sure wish I would have stuck with my gut and ordered more because right now his cards are ridiculous raw. Uh, next one here is the, it's Kobe Bryant. It's 1999 um, Upper Deck Century Legends Generations card. So it's got Kobe Bryant on the front. And it's got Jordan on the back. And I know I picked this thing up this year off of eBay. I'm not sure how much I paid for it. But, you know, whenever you have a card that's got Kobe on one side and Jordan on the other, I think it's going to be worth some money at some point. I think it is right now. Um, but I think it's going to continue to go up, especially if it's really nice condition. So... Uh, next one is Tim Duncan's rookie card, uh, Skybox Z Force. This is a 1997-98. Um, I snagged this off of eBay this year for a pretty decent price. Not a huge Tim Duncan fan. I think he's got the personality of a cardboard box but he was a damn good player but I think um, he's he's such he's so underrated because he really just didn't have that um, charisma you know personality like Shaq did and um, other folks in that type of position so I think that's kind of why he's been overlooked so much but you know he's a stud Um, and then we're going to get into Jordans. Uh, this is another um, 1987 sticker. I picked this off eBay last year, March-ish, probably. I was trying to get as many Jordan cards that were in decent condition and um, reasonably priced at that time before the last dance start, but I'm glad I picked this up. I think I, I'm not sure what I paid, but it was definitely under, you know, 100 bucks. Um, 
You can kind of see there's some angle issues here, the way it's cut. Um, but otherwise, you know, it's it's in pretty damn good condition for a 1987. Uh, there's no staining or gum residue or any of that crap on it. Um, but it looks pretty good, so I don't think it'll get a 10 just because of the the angle issue, and it might be just too too far off of that 60 40 percentage top to bottom might not make it but looks damn good um i'll i'll take whatever i can get on that uh next one's another 1988 jordan sticker um this one here obviously top to bottom is is off uh left to right is is off slightly but in terms of the edges and corners and the color um, there's no gum residue on this at all. A lot of the ones now, like if you were to open them up, you'd probably have like wax from the, the packs kind of just permanently bonded to the back of the card, potentially if it was a recent like opening. But I don't know. I've seen them both ways. Generally, the stickers were on the back of the of the pack of Fleer from what I remember opening them, so it was no gum residue, it was the wax from packs on it. But this one here looks really nice, um, you know, besides the centering issue, but to take everything else into account, um, looks really good. So I'm thinking, you know, this has got a legit shot at a nine. It might be, you know, an eight or a nine, but yeah, it looks really good. <clears throat> uh, next one's another Jordan uh, 1988 Fleer All Star. This is another eBay purchase um, last year. Um, that's, I think it's perfectly centered. Might be a little bit off. Push to the left a little bit, but not not bad. Um, the edges are really nice, except for that little tiny spot right there. And other than that, you know, some some stuff up here. Um, but the bottom looks good. The centering looks pretty damn good on the back here. So I don't know. I think it's got. I don't think it's a ten, but who knows? You know. Shit. I'm guessing it's going to be an, an 8 is my guess just because of this top border but I mean I've seen worse in 9's so you never know that's why you get them graded uh, <clears throat> 1988 Fleer Jordan um, Edges Corners are, you know, pretty much perfect. Maybe a little bit of white showing on this, this edge right there. Not bad though. Um, the Rodman that I got a Gem Mint 10 on had a little bit of that on it, so I'm not too concerned, but it's not gonna help its cause. Um, it's definitely not centered perfectly. It's pretty damn close though to being in that 60-40 area. Um, it might be a little bit off of that. So I'm thinking this thing might get, uh, considering the back is so nice, there's no issues. Um, it's centered pretty well for a back and from this, this set. Uh, it could, I think it could get a nine. It's got no uh, print bubbles on it, so no no yellow little circles. The color is really really good, um, and it's got a really good shot. I think at at a nine, <clears throat> that would be sick. Um, here's a Scotty Pippen 1988 Fleer rookie card. Um, this one's centered pretty well, top to bottom, not perfect, but I think it's within that. That's 
area um, the PSA is. So here's the grade master tool. So you line up the, uh, the black borders as best you can, you know, eyeball it. Basically I had a jig or something for this thing to slide cards into. Um, so if you look at the top line, it's kind of a, uh, right between the two and the three. And then the bottom line is on the four. It's peeking into the three a little bit, but on the four. So when you look at the, uh, the parameters here, so it's basically like a two and a half and a four. Um, four, two is 67. 33, which is outside of what uh, a 10 demands for um, its ratio is 60 40. That's as low as it'll go for a 10 grade for that for centering aspect of the card, anyways. So mine's a little bit out of, outside of that. It's like, in the, I'm, you know, it's between that and that. So I don't know. I don't expect it to get a 10, but I think a nine is definitely a possibility. And also here are the uh, card savers from PSA that are sponsored by eBay. Picks them up. It's kind of nice not looking at something that always says card saver. I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> So it's kind of they're nice. Uh, the back on this one isn't perfect, obviously, but it's not it's not too bad. So I think a nine is probably if they take that into consideration at all. But otherwise, it looks really nice. There's no print issues with it. Everything looks really good. And then my last one is another uh, uh, eighty-eight Fleer. Dennis Rodman rookie card. So this one is centered pretty much perfectly. Um, the color is really good. The edges look good. It does have um, one of those yellow, see that yellow circle right there? That was a 1988 Fleer um, phenomena that happened all the time on cards. You get a little, little tiny yellow circle where the print didn't get all its color. Other than that, the, the front of this looks pretty much perfect. The back looks almost perfect. I'm trying to figure out why I didn't, didn't send this in as a beforehand but maybe there's a scratch on it or something I don't see anything on this thing I'm looking at the glare I don't know if you guys can see that but man this thing looks Perfect. I don't, except for that yellow, that yellow thing. Here's the hoping for a 10 on this one. That's pretty damn good. If anything holds it back, it's that yellow, that yellow circle. But that's, that's pretty much all I can see that's wrong with this thing. I don't know, what, what do you guys think? surface look perfect so I got some really good cards here um, the last couple submissions have been basically some of the 
you know, last two regular service submissions have been um, some of my best cards that I have in my collection. Um, and I'm looking to sell some stuff just to kind of, you know, that's kind of the whole point. You know, when you want to really turn things around quick. I mean, these are the most valuable ones I'd probably have right now. So if they get graded, you know, nines and tens, if those stickers got even a nine, man, I would flip out. Um, just because they're so rare to get in decent grades. Or even these 88s, you know, if I get some these one or two tens on here, I'd be so stoked. But I, I understand it's, I think the screws are getting tightened in the industry for grade wise. Um, we'll see what happens. But thanks again for checking out the video. Appreciate it. If you haven't subscribed yet, please do so. That'd be great. <clears throat> Hit the like button if you enjoyed the content. Hit the bell for notifications when I put new ones out. And we'll see you in the next video. Thanks.